Editing is most likely the thing that takes the longest when it comes to making a video. In a world of bending phones and artificial intelligence, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to let the computer automatically edit for you? Luckily, there is. Welcome back to the Filmmaker's Formula, I'm Kevin, and on this channel we talk about all things creative filmmaking, from storytelling and set design all the way to those cool special effects. But specifically for today's video, I want to look at all the ways I can be lazy as an editor. So the usual process of me producing a video goes like this. I get an idea, I film the idea, I come back to the computer of a handful of takes of me in front of the computer talking and me doing things. Cut out all the silence and bad takes and I find some music to edit to, which all in all just takes a bunch of time. There are some ways to automate this. Instead of having to listen to your music and make an appropriate cut in your footage and aligning that cut to your audio timeline, you can just have Premiere do this for you instead. Let me show you how. The first thing you want to do is to go to your keyboard shortcuts in Premiere. And what we're looking to do here is to set a key so you can add a marker to your timeline. If you go to the keyboard shortcuts and you type in markers, you should see the option pop up. My current key is set to M and you can set it to whatever is convenient for you. Now instead of playing a song, pausing, making an edit, and going back again to listen to it, here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to play the music on the timeline in one go and tap to the beat. Sort of like when you're tapping your pencil on the table when you're listening to a catchy song, but instead of the table, we'll be pressing our hotkey. So let's do that right now. From there, we want to give Premiere some footage to edit. So I've imported some stock footage into the project manager so you can see how this works. But before we pull those files to the timeline, we want to make sure that Adobe only uses the usable portions of the footage. We don't really want Adobe to add a scene of us setting up the camera or anything. To do that, click on a file, go to source, and then use the keyboard shortcuts of I and O to set the inputs and outputs of where you want Adobe to source your footage from. Instead of I and O, you could also use these brackets under the source monitor as well. So just to reiterate, we're doing this so the computer knows what it can use. If you want a certain order to your footage, maybe chronological, what you want to do is hold control and select the files in that particular order. Or if it doesn't matter, you can just hold shift and select the whole thing and it'll put things together in random. Then after that, go to the menu bar and under clip, you'll see automate to sequence. Here you can see that we can choose sort order or selection order. For me, I'll be using the selection order of the files I selected in that particular order. Then we want to choose the placement at the unnumbered markers. Remember, those were the things we created when we were tapping to the beat. The rest of the options are fine, and then just click OK. And there you go, our edit is done. If you look at your timeline now, you can see that Adobe has edited your video at those markers, saving you a bunch of time. At this point, you might be like, that's nice and all, but can I automate this further? I'm glad you asked. And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. There's a whole world of plugins and scripts for Premiere and Adobe After Effects. And there's this particular one called Beat Edit. Instead of sitting there and tapping through your song, Beat Edit detects those beats for you and generates the markers automatically, saving you like two steps in the whole process. So that's an option you can use. This whole process works well when you're doing like a montage or a vlog where you just want to edit to the music. But for those of you that do talking head footage like I am right now, I'm sure you've gone through the process of cutting out the silence and false takes in your video. But hey! There's a plugin for that as well. It's called Awkward Pause. And what it does is it detects those segments in your audio that are below a certain decibel and deletes them for you. So that could be really useful when you have multi <clears throat> So that could be really useful when you have multiple takes. That though will be a plugin for Adobe After Effects. Other than those two plugins, there are some other ways to speed up your editing. One of the things I'm constantly trying to do is to find ways I can shorten the time it takes for me to put out a video. And there are some shortcuts and tools I figured out along the way. And I've made a video on that, so go check that video out and I'll see you over there. 